This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting. I'm joined by Ashley Raxu here at the O2 Indigo enjoying some little fights. Yeah, we are. We just saw Luz on get that big W. That is what we like to see. Well done, Luz. So, in terms of being here, you spawn your teammate. Yes, sir. I'm seeing you hang with the tooth fixed yet, though. No, the tooth isn't fixed. This is a temporary solution. Um, when I go into certain public spaces, I can't be bothered to explain to everybody what happened. It must be a nightmare, completely saying. Exactly, and every time do, I do you say different excuses like, "Oh, I fought a bandit." No, I tell I them the truth, which is that I was fighting a Dagestani bear, and then people <laughs> look at me like I'm crazy, and I'm like, "All right, cool. Let me just put this fake on him for now." So yeah, that's where we're at. Mm. I guess oh, you you gotta have fun of it. At the end of the day, you can say I was fighting a bear, I was fighting pirates. Fred, that's the truth. I don't understand why you're. <laughs> Elaborating the story, it was a Dagestani bear. I was training for OJ. It, you know that's what happened. I don't think we did a post-fight interview with yourself or OJ Rose. How was the fight? It was hard, man. The hardest fight yet? Yeah. yeah Harder than sure. AT? Yeah, because AT, I was just a baby. I didn't know what I was doing. Like I got knocked down because my fundamentals were all over the place, and I actually didn't get hit that many times against AT. Um, but when I did, I was really off balance, and yeah, it was just. That was me biting off way more than I could chew. Whereas when I watched back the OJ fight, like that was quite close to at a low level, granted, but like a professional fight where there was a lot of it where we're kind of with each other, we're trading shots, we're throwing multiple shots as well. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it was a hard fight. And OJ is, that boy's gas tank is something else. Like the heat just doesn't stop. So um, yeah, it was tough. Mm. And that rematch, I guess, will be next to you. It makes sense. Yeah, I think unless um, unless something crazy pops up, it makes yeah, just storyline wise. Do you know what I mean? It like makes sense I, if, to be nice. If, if I was lucky enough to fall upwards, obviously Gibb has just recently re-emerged onto onto Twitter, so we'll see what he's doing. But if there's like a potential, there's going to be a US card, and they really want Slim to headline that US card, and they can't find anybody else, and Mams was like, you know, there's a shot there, and obviously I'll take that. But in my head, unless something magical just falls out of the sky, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming I'm gonna rematch OJ. What do you make of Gib coming back today on Twitter, and I still come back from himself? Oh, bro, I've, I've really enjoyed it. Like, I think Gib is quite funny. Bro. Gib's hilarious. Yeah, he just, he's just not hilarious enough. We need a little bit more. <laughs> we don't get enough from <coughs> Gib. But he's authentically hilarious, though. Like, I never feel like Gib is putting on an act. Do you know what no. I mean? Like, he's not. <laughs> he's very witty. I like respect yeah, him that way. Like, he's not here all the time. We don't get like to see that much of him. But when he is here, he always has an impact. So, I think it's cool. I've seen a lot of people talking recently about like obviously the him and Kenny not getting to finish in the Kingpin tournament. Obviously, Slim versus Gib is something we've wanted for ages as well. So, I think if Gib does decide to get involved. There are fights there immediately for him that we would all be really engaged in. So, for me, it's a welcome addition. Like, I'd love to see him over here. Hmm. It would be good. Do you reckon Gib will fight again? Is he retired? I mean, when a boxer says they're retiring, they never really do retire. But it could be different with Gib. You never know. I, 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 think, I think he will fight again because I, I think our scene and our space is going to continue to grow. And so the, the benefits of fighting financially even just the kudos that goes around it as well and just you know i think it's gonna lure him back out i don't think he the kingpin stopped at the semi-final he never got his crowning moment he never got to win it he hasn't had that defining victory yet and so i'd like to think that gib won't stop until he gets it it was a shame the kingpin final being off because gibbs all that storylines and that storyline would have been completed and now shows the gloves Social club, sorry, put down Kingpin. He could have said all these things, but yeah. Exactly. It, it was a shame to see. But anyway, hopefully we can see Gib Kenny. I do want. I know Mams and KSI on the. On the don't, don't particularly want to put the part on too badly, cause just because it's Kingpin's. It's Kingpin's work, but you yeah. never know. Hopefully, never know. Fingers crossed. We might see a misfits. Yeah. Um, KSI retiring his title. He's still boxing, but he's going to relinquish his title. Makes he has sense. done. Yeah. See, so who do you think the people in the four-man tournament will be? Because I thought I thought to Slim and Slim doesn't want it. Not he wants the belt, but he doesn't want to be in the four man tournament. Yeah, of course, because at cruiserweight. So cruiserweight is one ninety limit. Because I had to look at it myself. Because I was like, ooh, could I get into that? But one ninety is going to be some big old boys. You got people like JMX, probably mm. going to be in that tournament. Who's what six foot four? Temper will probably want to be in that tournament. Le'Veon Bell's been chomping at the bit to try and get a fight. He needs to fight again. He fought like last April. It's, it's too inactive. He needs to fight again. Exactly. Le'Veon, so Le'Veon's probably going to be. He's a, Le'Veon's a fantastic name, a fantastic fighter, but he needs to be more active. And he Especially walks, on the socials as well. Yeah. He's been a bit quiet. For sure. And Le'Veon walks around at probably about 210, so he might be in it. I think Tristan Ham might fancy it too. He seems like he's not scared of anyone. So and he, Tristan Ham, credit to him, no one calls anyone out anymore on the scene. 
not as much as they used to. But Tristan Ham, he's chopping the bit. He wants to. He wants the fights. He's been shouting. So he might end up getting himself into there. Um, I'd love Miles to be in it, but I think it might be a bit too early. I don't know. <laughs> depends on when the tournament's happening. But yeah, I think there's a lot of options, and I think it's really exciting. I tweeted the other day. I think it would be amazing if there were tournaments for every single belt. Mm. Like. I actually think that would be really, really cool. Um, well, the lightweight tournament's looking pretty cool, isn't it? Lightweight tournament looks amazing. Who are you picking? I guess it's difficult to pick a name, but pick up a name so you think they could do it. After seeing what he was like beforehand, it's going to be hard to look past Joey Knight. Yeah. Um, from the fun side of things, Lil Cray Cray. Lil Cray Cray, yeah. Lil Cray Cray. If Lil Cray Cray was to win it, that would be kind of cool. Again, storyline-wise, he's probably one of the OGs of the YouTube boxing thing. Do you know what I mean? Just being out there filming the content that he did in America. So if it was to be him, that would be really dope. Um, I sat down with Taz the other day. and he's Oh, really? really? Yeah. Oh, I he was interviewing you, no? No, it was me interviewing him. You interviewing him? Yeah. Okay, nice. He's, he's lovely. He DM'd me ages ago saying, one day I'm going to be on Mrs. Fred and you're going to interview me. Yeah. And that's finally going to happen. So I think that's beautiful. I think that's something that's He's really got cool. a really inspiring story. Like, obviously, I'll leave you to get, like, the detail of it. But he just was in a really dark place and had to overcome some demons. So I don't think he's going to be a favourite for the tournament, but I'd be rooting for him. And then there's Baby Hulk. Mm. And I'm like... From Street Beast. I used, to, I used to watch him, it's man. In school, I used to watch Street Beast yeah, as well. That's badass. So I'm like, <laughs> whoa, what's he going to be like? So if I was a betting man... My money would probably be on Joey Knight. Joey Knight or Ali, they're the two favourites. But it very Lil Craker, I thought like, he's uh, dangerous, isn't it? But again, if I was a better man I only had, I could only bet on one person, it would be Joey. Right. Just under that, it would be Lil Craker and Waleed and maybe Hulk. Hmm. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Um, this year, Misfits, what's your aims, what's your goals? It's only February, early Feb. So when we do another interview at the end of the year, you would have a belt around your waist. That's some the goal, more, man. More I fights, think it's, more wins. It's, it's, I, I, I picked the OJ Rose fight knowing that I needed to try and make a statement to get me closer to that slim fight. And also, you struggle to get fights, you know? You, it would be kind of difficult. Which, which is why I was like, I need to make a statement. And I know that OJ's in a similar situation, right? Where kind of like the boogeymen have to fight each other mm. to then elevate to the next level. And stylistically, OJ's not something that I particularly like either. Right. So for me, it was like, cool, I'm going to face this challenge head on and get my most difficult fight out of the way and then try and move on to slim mm -hmm. obviously i didn't manage to do that because we grew so by the end of the year i'd like to put that right to be if i beat oj i would have had to have got a lot better as a fighter and then that would set me up really well for a title shot because if i can beat oj i can beat at mm -hmm. and if i can beat oj i know i can beat slim as well so so slim the aim for you then the year you want that slim fight that is what i want for sure and i appreciate that if he can fight blueface if he can fight gib they're going to be his preferential fights. But I just want to make sure I put myself in a situation where it's like, if he can't get them, I'm there and it's a credible, it's a credible fight to make. How does a slim fight go between yourself and them? Um, how, do the, how do the styles match up? I think, I think quite well for me, to be honest. I think slim, Slim's a good boxer um, with good IQ, but I think I'll win the chess match and the one thing that I maybe don't like which I'm happy so I'm okay to say now because you guys have all seen it is people who are come forward shorter prior pressured like mm -hmm. that's the thing like, well, like an AT <laughs> like an AT or, an or an OJ, OJ Rose exactly. perfect that's example that's what I don't like if you give me like a more rangy person like a Kenny that's actually home for me I'm more comfortable with that so yeah, I think I think stars make fights, and I think Slim's a great fighter. But stylistically, I think. Do you think you can stop Slim? Maybe get the KO, get the two stoppage. Honestly, I'll say this to you now: you can have this as an exclusive. If I stop OJ Rose, I will stop every other influencer I get in that ring with. So you think you stop Slim? Yes. If I stop OJ Rose, I'm stopping Slim. I'm stopping Salt Pappy. I'm stopping. I'm stopping everybody. So that's, that's the litmus test for me. It's can mm. I become good enough to stop OJ? Because what I'm going to have to put myself and transform myself... Well, I think the Halal Hampire is dominant, but you should have tried... You should have less voting, more stoppages in the Halal Hampire. Do you reckon you could have gone out of there? So that... Uh, me not stopping Halal Ham wasn't really down to show voting. Me not stopping Halal Ham was due to, like, not setting up my shots. Really, was it? Okay. Not were you trying to stop him? Were you just hanging out? No, I was trying him? to stop him. I was trying to stop him too much. So oh, if you had right. a look, there were times where I'd hurt him and I'd just run after him and just start going, <laughs> and there was just no composure. There was no finesse. There was no 
it was just me rushing my work, you know what I mean? Look, obviously I'm still new to this whole thing, right? So I need to get better when I've got people on the back foot and understand how to set the shots up, more fakes, more angles, etc., etc., etc. So mm. there's like, if I'm here right now and I'm drawn with OJ, I need to get to here to be OJ. I need to get to there to stop OJ. And if I get to there and I stop OJ, like I said, I'm stopping everybody else as well. I love it. I love the part between you and Slim. That should be your aim for the end of the year. That is Try it. and make that happen. But to make that happen, you need to have a dominant win over AJ Rosen when that happened. But Ashley, I do appreciate your time. Always, I'll see you. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Nice one.